Welcome to the oldest city in the United States and one of my favorite places, St. Augustine. Located just a short drive from anywhere in North Florida, St. Augustine and Ponte Vedra are perfect for a day visit or a beautiful vacation. Founded in 1565 by the Spanish, St. Augustine feels like a little slice of European charm nestled here on Florida's historic coast. With centuries old buildings, horse-drawn carriages, it's an incredibly unique city. Our first stop for the day is the historic Castillo de San Marcos. The centerpiece of historic St. Augustine, there's plenty to explore at the Castillo. From the numerous rooms that once housed soldiers and prisoners, to the large interior courtyard and gun deck, which offers a great view of the city. Regular daily programs and park ranger-led tours are free with admission. And if you want to see something extra cool, come on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and you can see live demonstrations of the cannons and muskets. What began as a bustling port town for merchants is one of the top vacation destinations of the South today, with plenty of great places to shop and eat. Right down the road from the fort is the oldest street in the United States, Avila Street. One of those great St. Augustine surprises with cafes, shops, and marvelous art galleries. From Avila Street, it's just a short walk to one of the most beautiful colleges in the country. Located in the heart of St. Augustine is Flagler College. Originally built in the 1880s by Henry Flagler and known as the Ponce de Leon Hotel. Designed for entertainment, relaxation, and grandeur, Flagler's Hotel first marked Florida as a tourism destination. Even though Flagler is no longer a hotel, there are still plenty of great places to stay in St. Augustine. We are visiting the Collector Luxury Inn and Gardens, a boutique hotel with the bed and breakfast charm, but all the modern amenities. Not any two rooms on this property are the same, and that's because they kept the integrity of every building. Anything that was historic was preserved. If you want to unwind after a long day of exploring, our next stop's just for you. You may not know that St. Augustine was the first place that wine was produced in the U.S., so naturally we had to check out San Sebastian Winery. They offer free tours and wine tastings every day of the week. On the weekend, enjoy the cellar upstairs, the wine and jazz bar located on their roof. So come check out their delicious wine. Just a few feet down the road is the St. Augustine Distillery, one of the few distilleries that you can visit in Florida. They offer free tastings and free tours daily where you can try their award-winning rum, gin, vodka, and bourbon. See firsthand the production of their small batch spirits. Visit the Ice Plant Bar and experience their farm-to-table cuisine and cocktails. Welcome to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park, where you can discover a diverse collection of birds, mammals, reptiles, and all the species of crocodilian. Founded in 1893 and is one of the oldest zoos in the country. Alligator feedings, daily wildlife shows, and an awesome zip line and ropes course make the alligator farm one of St. Augustine's premier attractions. We are finishing off our very eventful day with my favorite place in St. Augustine, the beach. The St. Augustine area offers over 42 miles of continuous, beautiful coastline. When you're deciding which beach to go for your next trip, remember the Atlantic Ocean offers more possibilities. Whether it's swimming, boogie boarding, or surfing, you can do it all. We had a fantastic time today just exploring a fraction of all that St. Augustine has to offer. So get out there and explore St. Augustine and Ponte Vedra on Florida's historic coast.